This is our first King's Cup winner. This is George Dove of Sutton and Ashfield. Thanks very much for inviting me around to see the pigeons today, George. How long have you been in the sport? 71 years. That's a long time, mate, isn't it? It is a long time. Well, what systems do you fly? Normally I fly uh, natural, but occasionally I'll put a few widowed cocks in this next shed, but I'll let them all out together for exercise. Yeah. What's some of your best positions you've won? Well, I think King's Cook's about as good as what I've ever done. Uh, I've been third also from Larry, and seventh, tenth, eleventh, twenty-first. Over the years, you know. Yeah, it's brilliant, mate. Absolutely brilliant. Do you like the longer races? I do, really. This is your King's Cup winner, then, George. Yes. How old's he? He's uh, been in 1990, so yeah. he won it when he was. Two, that was 1992. Yeah, what family of pigeons is he? He's a bush art. Yeah, good old bush arts. Was he a natural pigeon or was he on Woodward? Well, when I sent him, he was feeding the youngster about oh, 13 or 14 years old. Yeah. And I had sold his end to a chap up in Scotland a day or two before. So he was just feeding that youngster on his own. Oh, yeah. Lovely pigeon, mate. He is. This is a scene inside one of George's natural sections. When do you pair your pigeons up, George? Well, I have no set time. Sometimes I start about the middle of February. This time I started about the end of February. It just depends how I feel and uh, on what uh, I, I get up to. Yeah. I, I, don't, uh, I don't make a, a burden of pigeons. I just suit, uh, treat them as I, uh, as I want to, to suit myself. What's this ending, George? Well, she's a cousin to the King's Cup winner and she's won over £2,000 from uh, Perth, uh, Pennyquick, Fraserburgh, uh, and Thurzo. Been to Thurzo twice. Yeah, is she? Last, last time I sent her, uh, it was very good. I was going to send her to Larry and she was in absolutely perfect condition. And I decided not to send her at the last minute and I sent her to Berry on the Friday night. And she didn't come until the following Sunday, and I had to put six foot of cotton in her to sew her up. Oh, yeah. I never sent her for us anymore after that. Is she also a pure bush shot? Yes. What sort of feed do you feed then, George? Well, I've always fed a, a, a lightish mixture, because I, I, I feel that if you feed too, too heavy a mixture, and by that I mean too much protein, your pigeons will not fly around, they'll not exercise, they'll not race, they'll not do anything. No. So you think that's a good mixture? I'm sure it is, because I've been doing it for 30 odd years. I wouldn't do national. Yeah. So, how often do you feed the birds in? Are they hopper fed or? No, I feed them. I feed them in the morning and I feed them again at night. Yeah. How about training the pigeons? How far do you train them? Well, training now, uh, I do as little as possible. Yeah. Because I think it's a complete not to waste of time racing up and down near them up the motorway, training your pigeons if you can get them to fly at all. Yeah. Now, most people can't. In fact, I don't know anybody that can it with me. No. So you think it's basically down to the feed? Pardon? You think it's basically down to the feed? I'm sure of it. Sure of it. This is George's young bird section. How many babies do you breed each year, George? Well, I breed quite a few, actually. Probably 50 or 60. Yeah. How far do your babies fly? Well, I've had a flying wind from uh, uh, Elgin, 323 miles. Yes. Normally they go to, uh, to Perth, which is 242. Yeah. How about training them? How far do you train them? Well, w what I do for training is to, I try to start them at about five miles and I gradually increase it up to about Leeds, which is 48. Now, when they've been to Leeds, I can jump in, into Merrick, which is 185, and they'll come if they're any good. George has a wonderful old loft. It has five sections, two for old birds, three for young birds, and the pigeons are trapped through the open doors into a corridor.